Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red version. In this episode, we're gonna go through this cave, which is the Diglett Tunnel actually. So before I go in, I want to ready myself with some repels because, oh uh, gosh, this cave can go on for a little while. So let's go into the Diglett Cave. Well, that's a, that's a surprise. Diglett dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City, they tell me. Oh, cool. So yeah, this is actually a good way to get back to Viridian City, and I'm just gonna ride my bike because it's the fastest way through. And if we encounter a Diglett, I'm definitely gonna catch it because why not? I might already have a ground type, but Diglett's nice. I like Diglett. Oh, crud, it already wore off. Okay, time to put on another one. Gosh, I'm so happy that games like Pokemon Black 2 and um, Gen 6 and onwards ended up in... Ah, dang it, I thought we were gonna get through without encountering a Pokemon, but no. Oh my gosh, we're just giving right to Doug Trio! Yeah, so Doug Trio is the evolved version of Diglett, and he's a nasty crutter who is level 29 and is a much higher level than the rest of my Pokemon. And can this Great Ball work? Dang it, I was hoping to yellow it, but that failed, and now he's gonna use Fury Swipes. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Diglett primarily, or like Dig, uh, the Diglett line primarily focuses on speed and. I'm not sure what else they focus on. Anyway, we're just gonna try and capture him because Doug Trio's a nice Pokemon. He he's alright. Not as great as like Nato King, but he's still good. And oh, crud, I got hit by Sandtomb. That's annoying. But again, I'll be fine. I just need to use Sleep Powder. And he's gonna hit me with Mud Slap, which does have a chance of lowering my accuracy. But luckily, Sleep Powder is still gonna land. Thank goodness. And now the Doug Trio is asleep, so I can do a little bit of damage to it. But I'm gonna get hit by Sandtomb, which is annoying, but let's go in for another cut. Okay, he's gonna stay asleep. Ah, oh, come on, that miss? Fine. Be that way, game. Be that way. I'll just go in and yeet another great ball and hope for the best. Please, just get in the ball, Doug Trio. Please. Dang it. I'm gonna cut till I catch this crutter. Well, what do you know? Just the first Pokeball after I said I was gonna cut. Cool. And here we have Doug Trio. Yeah, he's pretty decent. Uh, he'll just go to the box. And now let's just go to the other side of the cave and hello, dude. I went inside Rock Tunnel, but it's pitch black, but scary in there. If I could get a Pokemon to use Flash and light it up. Yeah. That would be very helpful. So let's go down here and enter this house. And there will be an aid in here. A fainted Pokemon has no energy left for it. Actually. Oh, no, that's not the aid I was thinking of. I'm looking for the Pokemon Abra. Want to trade for Mr. Ma for my Mr. Mime? Sadly, I don't have an Abra, so that blows. But Mr. Mime is all right. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know. He had the specialty of being a psychic type in Gen 1, which is the best thing. That a Pokemon can have, but yeah, anyway. Aha, here you are. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokedex has complete data of 10 spe on 10 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Professor Oak tr entrusted me with HMO5 for you. So, Gabe, let me ask you do you have 10 Pokemon? Of course. Great, you have caught your own 18 kinds of Pokemon. Congrats, here you go. And I received HMO5. HM contain well, HMO5 contains the hidden move Flash. Flash lights up even the darkest of caves and dungeons. Nice! And it will come in handy big time. So let's just go down here really quick and grab one ether, which is a nice. And a paralyzed heal as well. Again, very nice. And that's it for over here. So, guys, I will meet you back in Cerulean City where we're gonna go try and get to the rock tunnel. See you all then, guys. And now I'm back at Cerulean City. So, here's the plan. First of all, I'm gonna use Cut to cut down this little tree over here. And then I'm gonna go fight through a crud ton of trainers, starting with, I think she uses a Growlithe and Nato King's up front, right? So let's go fight her first. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. Okay, I did not like how you said that, but bring it, I guess. All right, so she's gonna bring out, oh no, she uses Oddish. Oh, right, I think I misremembered crud. But that's fine, let's go for a peck that should almost one-shot the Oddish, nice. Uh, of course I get hit by Sleep Powder. The most annoying move! Kind of. 
All right, do I have any other Pokemon that can handle Oddish pretty well? I guess Chie. I'm begging that this Oddish does not use Sleep Powder again, or I will be really mad. Okay, Sweet Scent, that just, what, lowers my evasion? So that's fine. Yeah, so I'm gonna go use Brick Break. Even though it's not very effective, it still will work. Yeah, so get out of your Oddish. And next up is going to be... Hey, Bellsprout. Do I actually have any Pokemon with a good move against these? No, I don't. Oh, yikes. Okay, I'll just use Blarg for now. And hope for the best. Be I just bumped my desk again. Good lord. Can I stop doing that? I hope so. Alright, so that attack missed. That's annoying. Sleep powder missed. Thank goodness. Wait, that only has a 90... Well, that, that's only got a 5% chance of missing. Gosh. Pokemon, uh, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon RNG is very weird. But there we go. Bellsprout is now done. Very nice. Next up is another Oddish, who is very odd. I made that joke already in this Let's Play, but I don't care. Gonna use Cut. Okay, that's gonna take a... Not Stun Spore. Gosh dang it. Alright, do I have... I, no, I know I have Awakening, so I'm gonna use one of them to... Go... Get one back to normal. And Oddish is going to use Sweet Scent. That's fine, I guess. I'm just going to go swap into one anyway. Go, oh, come on. Going into one. Go get him, buddy. Don't you dare use anything annoying. Okay, just Sweet Scent. Good. Because if, if that Oddish used a status ailment, I'd be really, really annoyed. So let's go for a peck. Maybe Thrash is... Yeah, Thrash is a stronger move by a lot. So I should probably use that instead. And finally, one last Bell Sprout for Juan to beat up. Go get him, Juan! Use Thrash! Gosh, this move is so good. Yep, that's it for Bell Sprout. You deceived me! Meh. Okay, so now we're done with her. So I'm gonna go quickly put Blarg up front and go quickly. Uh, there we go. And get rid of his paralysis because my gosh, paralysis is so annoying in this game. I shall status. Uh, status elements in Pokemon are just genuinely very annoying. If we go down here, we can get TM40 Aerial Ace, a 60 um, damage flying type move with perfect accuracy. So yeah, it is very good. And in this case, I only have one Pokemon who can learn it, and that is Chie, and that's gonna help her status, well, her move pool out a lot. And give her some much needed variety. So, I guess what I can do... Ooh, what do I get rid of? I think I can get rid of Karate Chop. Because Brick Break is much, much better. So let's go do that. Chie has now learned Aerial Ace. Kind of. I'm waiting for it to now go. There we go. Chie has learned Aerial Ace. So that's going to be incredibly helpful for her. And just, you know, helps her out of move pool a lot. Let's go fight this trainer over here. Or hiker. <laughs> Great, I was bored, eh? Bring it, I guess? I said that already, but oh well. Bring it on, hiker. Jeremy. So Machop is up first. Oh yeah, I also forgot. Aerial Ice gives uh, Chi a coverage on other fighting types. So that's good. But first of all, we're going to lower Machop down to uh, less than half. And one more Aerial Ace should do it. Gonna get by Seismic, to Seismic Toss, will, which will make me lose 20 HP, so that's a bit on the annoying side, but Machop will be defeated anyway due to a lucky crit. Very, very nice. But that's not all, because we're gonna have to deal with one more Pokemon, and that Pokemon is going to be an Onix. So keep him Blarg in, because he's got the best chance of defeating this Onix. Outside of Chie. And Juan, actually. Juan actually has a good chance against him, because Dig. But it doesn't matter, because Onix has been defeated. Hooray! And that is it for Hiker Jeremy. Keep it coming, eh? Oh, wait, I'm out of Pokemon. Yeah, bye, Hiker Jeremy. You put up some form of challenge, I guess. So if we go all the way over here, I believe... Okay, another Hiker and another Pokeball. I feel like these are connected. Aha, uh -huh, bring it on! I will. So we are going to fight Hiker Allen, who is going to just bring out a Geodude. So, let's go use Razor Leaf to take care of the Geodude immediately. Get out of here. And I believe he's also going to use an Onix. If not, I think it's Machop. We will see. And it is... Oh, yep, it is Onix. Cool, so I can keep Blarg in. 
to go deal with said Onyx. Raise Relief away. Okay, Rock Throw is going to do a bit of damage. Not much, actually. Only eight. That was pretty bad for him. But now Onyx is down. Very, very nice indeed. And... Ah, oh, so close to level 26. Haha, <laughs> you beat me fair. Now that the hiker's been defeated, we can go over here and grab a burn heal, which just heals the fire ailment. Yeah, anyway. Let's go all the way up here, and there's going to be a bug trainer. So let's go swap over to Chie, actually, because she's going to put in some work here. Go, my super bug! I, I thought I said super bug Pokemon! Yeah. But Catcher Connor is going to bring out a Caterpie. Oh gosh, here we go again. Alright, so, Aerial Ace. I love its animation in this game because it's nice, simple, and effective. And I just took down that Caterpie almost immediately, so that's very, very nice. And next up is Venonat. Pokemon looks pretty... He's, I don't know, I like his design. Don't agree with what it evolves into because Venomoth is interesting, but... Oh no, not Supersonic. Gosh, I hate that. Okay, we're confused. Don't get hurt! Oh, son of a gun. It's gonna be like this, isn't it? Uh... Wait, oh! Oh, I forgot Venona can learn confusion! That actually makes things worse right now. Snap out of it, please! Thank you. That's it for Venonat. That's very good. And now, we gotta deal with a Weedle. So I'm gonna go swap into one because he's got Peck. <laughs> Ugh. I've got no idea where that cough came from, but it just came out of nowhere. Alright, hello there, Weedle. Get pecked. That was a straight-up one-shot. Nice. And... Oh, yes! Finally, level 24! Nice! And Bugcatcher Connor has been defeated! By bugs! Yeah, they're kind of done. And now that he's done... Oh! Wait, I just realized... No, she is fine. Kind of. I'm taking the Rock Tunnel to go to Lavender! Yeah, Lavender Town is going to be what's up next, and it's going to be creepy, kind of. So he's going to bring out Rattata to start things off. Gotcha. Luckily, Chie is a bit faster than it, so I should have no problems defeating it. And there we go. Rattata's done. That was a critical as well. Nice. And... All right, decent EXP there. Got Okay, Sand Shoes up next. I'll go into Blarg to take care of that one. Because Blarg genuinely stands a good chance against him. So hello there, Sand Shrew. Let's go for a quick Razor Leaf to get you done. Well, to just get you out of here immediately. There we go. That's very good. Goodbye, Sand Shrew. You tried, buddy. But now Blarg is level 26. Nice. And another Sand Shrew. Okay. Okay. That's odd. But that's fine by me. So another Razor Leaf coming out. Very nice. Sandshrew is down. So, let's see. Who's going to be the final one? Oh, Ekans. Okay. Uh, Juan, you can go take care of him. And here is Ekans. So, going to use... Okay, we're going to get hit by the Intimidation. That's not going to matter much because Thrash is going to royally ruin Ekans. Like, look at that. Oh, it didn't one-shot. Okay. So Thrash is going to keep going because it's one of those moves that just keeps going over and over again, similar to Rollout. But there we go. Can't measure up. All right, goodbye. And that's it for that trainer. So wait. Uh, was I supposed to go? Oh, yeah, there's another guy right here. Cool. Who's that walking there with those good looking Pokemon, eh? Okay. And these these campers really creep me out. Okay, here's Growlithe. Okay. So yeah, Growlithe is... Well, we've already seen him before, so... It's gonna be interesting. Uh, let's go for Rock Tomb and hope for the best! Yes, it landed! Gosh, that move stresses me out. But okay, we did about half. Maybe Break Break will be able to finish off Growlithe. I hope so. Or we're gonna have to swap into another Pokemon. Oh, that signed your own death warrant. You just signed your own death warrant, dude. Ah, <laughs> uh, goodbye, Growlithe. You tried. And next up is going to be a Charmander. I'll keep one in. 
Hi, Charmander. And that should be it for Charmander. Wow, poor Charmander. He got one shot. Out like a light. Yeah, I guess. Now that he's done, let's go up here. And you know what? I'm going to go quickly heal up Chie just by using a... Where's my super potions? There you are. Let's go heal up Chie really quick just to make sure she can deal with wh whoever's... Well, just to deal with this bug catcher. I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. All right. Well, prepare to return to monkey. Because I'm going to defeat you with a monkey. Oh. Well, there's Beedrill. Yeah. The fully evolved version of Weedle. It went down so easily that it's not even funny. Gosh, I'm sad because Beedrill's actually really cool, dude. And he's actually a lot stronger nowadays because he learns a lot. Because he learns... A lot of better moves. Like outrage. That's that's always hilarious to me. And that's sadly yet for Beedrill. I'm sad now. I've been wanting to fight this thing all let's play. I've been waiting for someone to use them, but no oh man. What? In all caps. What a total waste of time. Wow, you just said that to your Pokemon, dude. You're kind of messed up. If we go down here, we can go grab an ether from this rock. Yeah, yeah I don't know why. And I'm not sure which Pokemon are in there, but frankly, it doesn't matter right now. So let's just go back to where we were. And we're going to have to fight one more Rock Climber. That's going to be interesting. So let's go swap in. Now, nah, GA should, should be able to handle it. Just a Rock Climber. Ah, aren't you a little toughy? Okay. And yeah, this guy's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> All right. So he's going to summon, not summon, bring out Geo, dude. All right, he should go down really easily because Brick Break is going to be very, very good against it. There we go. Geodude just got one shot like that. And I got a decent amount of EXP from that. Geodude number two is coming right up. Hello, Geodude number two. Prepare to get Brick... Well, prepare your, for your bricks to break again. Yeah, that was a bad pun. <laughs> And one more coming in. Oh, Machop. Actually, I could just keep... Yeah, I'll keep GA in just to demonstrate Aerial, aerial Ace. That's going to be fun. So let's, that's the wrong move, but it still landed. Thank you for landing. That did squat. At least it does like, like have a really high chance to decrease speed, but uh, going to get by Karate Chop. That's going to hurt a little bit. Aerial Ace coming through. Oh, that's it for Machop. Nice. And that is it for this Hiker. What's that? It's a... It's a monkey. Chie the monkey. Okay, but now we gotta go fight this camper. Don't you dare patronize me! Okay... These trainers are weird anyway. Fighting picking through Caitlyn, who's gonna bring out Meowth! Oh, that reminds me I could've caught a Meowth earlier, but... I didn't. For some reason, I don't know why. Yeah, uh, Meowth's interesting. It's just a pure normal type Pokemon who went down one hit. Yeah. Its evolution's interesting, though. Seismic Toss. Oh, do I get rid of a move for that? Because... I think it has a weird property where it's not super effective to anything, and it's just a slightly better normal move. Um... I mean, I don't want it. This has a 100% hit rate. Mega Punch doesn't, but... Nah, I think I'm fine with that Seismic Toss. I don't like it that much. In all brutal honesty. No, you're too much. Okay, and that's it for those trainers. Because we are now on Route 10. Where, oddly enough, this place is a Pokemon Center. Yeah. So let's go quickly heal up my Pokemon. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to heal? Of course. Because I barely show this off at all. I'm glad that the later Pokemon games would actually show what that little monitor in the background actually is. And that just shows the Pokemon. Oh, Gabriel, I've been looking for you. It's me, one of the ever-present aides and everything. Oh, right, I need to capture 20. No, I've only gotten... Oh, I only have 19! Dang! All right, so I need to go capture one more Pokemon. One sec. There we go. Now I'm at 20 Pokemon. I just 
decided to catch a random Ekans for the heck of it. Because why not? Now we can go get that item from the aid. That's nice. So let's go in here and go collect that item. Hello, dude. Aha, Gabe, I've been looking for you. I'm one of the aides, and you have caught 20 pieces of Pokemon, right? And you get an Everstone. Okay, here you go. Here is your Everstone. Hey, I got it. Making Pokemon evolve certainly can add to the Pokedex. However, at times, you may not want a certain Pokemon to evolve. In that case, give the po Everstone to that Pokemon. It'll prevent evolution, according to the professor. And oddly enough, the Everstone does kind of sound useless. Sound a little bit useless, because... Who, who would want their Pokemon to evolve? But it does actually have a few uses. Because uh, there's like one certain item that can make a Pokemon very strong. But now, I'm going to go swap over to... No, nope, I did not mean to use Dig. I meant to go swap over to Juan here. Because we're going to fight this lady. I've been out at a Pokemon gym a few times. But I always lose. I wonder why. I don't know. And we're fighting Picnicker Heedy. We will bring out a Pikachu. This was the main reason why I swapped to Juan. Because Pikachu does squat to him. Let's go for a dig really quick. Okay, gonna get, hit, gonna get hit by a quick attack, but that's fine. Going for a quick little dig. So next turn. Okay, perfect. That should most likely one-shot Pikachu. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Bye, Pikachu. I really like his sprite in this game. Oh, next up is Clefairy. Right, this should be easy. So let's go for a quick little thrash. And... Oh. Oh, now I'm forced into using a move that I'm already forced into using. Nice. So Thrash is going to go again. And that's it for Clefairy. And also it for this Picnicker. Oh, after all my training. Yeah, sorry about that. So guys, that's going to wrap up this episode of Pokemon uh, Fire Red version. In the next episode, we're going to go through this stupid rock tunnel, which... Trust me, I hated this thing as a kid. So, thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day! Bye!